So, for all of you that don't know, I was an awkward ass kid. And as an awkward ass kid with a shit ton of anxiety and no idea what the fuck to do with his life, and also just like, you know, a kid that just like, is just confused. Like, all the time. I've had a lot of embarrassing shit happen to me. Like, a lot. And to cope with the embarrassment and humiliation I went through as a kid, I've decided to share it with the internet because naturally, of course. This is me. And if I, um, act like this for the whole video, that's why. Because, um, you know. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> as I was saying, I was an embarrassing kid, alright? And I, you know an autistic little gay person who's not gay the pan you gotta get it right bitch and an autistic little pan person who is just going through life trying to live um i struggled with a lot of things and i did not know how to do a lot of things but my dad thought i did so as a little wee little kid he forced me to do tackle football and I kind of got a little bit good at it because he was like, yo, you're gonna go to college and be a professional football player one day. And I was like, all right, because I had no free will and I didn't know how to fucking stand up for myself. So I was like, hey, this is my life. I don't like football at all, but you know, here we are, besties. So I was doing my little football thing and then one day I got good enough to be invited into the USA national team. And I had to do a little tryout before I went to the USA national team, you know? So I went, I pulled up to the little tryouts. I was like, hee hee, we're ready. I pulled up with my homie who wasn't really friends with me because I was not friends with anyone on the football team because I was just this fucking nerd who played video games and watched anime all day while all the other football players were getting laid. So, you know, <laughs> that's how it be now. Um, so I pulled up with this guy that couldn't stand me, but we were on the same team together, so I thought we were homies, and he's like, no, don't know that kid. But, you know, that's how it be sometimes when you're in high school. And my goal was just to get through the day. That's about it. And I don't know if I, I achieved that goal, if I'm being honest with you. It, let me explain. So, I was a wide receiver. Um, which is the gayest position. A wide receiver- come on, bro. How did I not know back then? Anyways, <laughs> um, I was the guy that caught the ball. And there was this one time where during the tryouts, they were like, yo, run in a straight line and catch the ball. So I went to the place where you score the points, because if you're like me, you have no idea what the fuck happened. And, and how, you, don't, you don't know what the fuck happens in football unless you were forced into it like me. So let me explain to the, this very simply. I, I went into the, the little box where I score my points, and I was ready to catch the ball. I was ready. I was ready to re receive that wide ball. Anyway, so I was ready to score my points, and um, he threw it a little high. The, the guy that throws the ball, he threw it a little high. So me being a tall boy, I decided to be a baller. Fucking jump up, catch it with one, just kidding, two arms, because I'm not that cool, I'm not that cool. But I did catch it, and I was like, I scored the point. But the guy that was defending, instead of going for the ball up high, he just ran at me, shoulder into my fucking hip. By the way, this was touch. This was touch. You, you, you're supposed to touch the person, and you're like, that's down, you don't have to tackle them. It was going to be tackled later, but for now, it was just touch because it's just tryouts and it's not that deep. But this guy thought it was that deep, so instead of giving me a little boop, or like trying to go for the ball and be like, haha, get denied, he went for my hip, hit me in the hip, I went, wee! I did a full flip, my body went, whoa! I went in a fucking circle. That was the first and only time I've ever uh, 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 successfully done a backflip. And I say successfully with much hesitation because I did not land this backflip. And here's the thing is, to give you a little context for what is about to happen next, I, there's this thing. Okay? Okay, there's this thing. If you're good enough of a boy, you get like a golden ball or whatever, and like, the golden ball's like, Hey, you've been doing good in practice, so you are guaranteed to get on the international team. Or national team, yeah. So, I was a good boy, so I got the golden ball. It's a two-day practice, a two-day tryout, 
The first day, they gave me the golden ball. So the second day, I celebrated. I had a lot of junk food. And then the second day happened, and the second half of the, so it's split into halves. It's like eight hour days, right? So I ended the first day with a lot of junk food. I started with a lot of junk food. And during the, 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 the lunch break that we received on hour four of the eight hour day, I was like, fuck it, I'm a celebrate because we ballin' right now, homies. So I had a burger, a fries, and soda. And little me was not allowed to have soda, boys. Little me, okay. From ages one to 10, I was allowed to have soda one time a week. And from ages like 10 to let's say 16, I had soda probably like five times throughout that whole time. And this was one of those times. So when I caught that ball, it was not a good feeling. Because not only I got this guy ramming into um, my hip, not only I did the sick ass backflip and landed directly onto my back. A little, um, just a warning. This is where the story gets gross. So, if you have any attraction to me at all and you want it to stay that way, just do yourself a favor and just click off this video real quick, alright? Because, <sighs> granted, this was like. 14 year old me, I don't fucking know. But still, tell yourself, I, I think I was still in 8th grade or either, or it was either like late 8th grade or early freshman year, 13 or 14, don't, just, I, I don't want to have to admit this, but I already started the video and I've already told myself I'm going to post this. So I guess I have to know. Um, but when I landed, a little, a little peeper came out. And I was like, ooh, ooh, that's not, that's no good. I'm a, I'm a, um, try to adjust that. And I looked down and, um, coming out of my shorts were juices. Brown juices. <sighs> Anyways, so I started running back and for a split second, I was like, I'll get back in line and do the routes again and catch the ball again. Then I took a second look at my brown juices and they were expanding. So instead of doing that, I just went straight. And then my coach was like, what the fuck are you doing? Get back in line. I was like, no, this is an emergency coach. And I just ran straight towards the back of this. And thankfully, when I got there, there was no one in there. And I unleashed hell on that toilet. And it was beautiful. It was a lifesaver. I then quickly realized that within three stalls, there was not a single piece of toilet paper. And I, I, I checked the sinks. There was not a single piece of paper towel. So I had to make the rough decision and just sacrifice my underwear and I was like, hopefully no one sees my penis today, so let's just free ball the rest of this practice. You know, why not? So then I take off my underwear, I use it as toilet paper, and then I go out, I start running back, and my dumbass, okay, I was wearing football cleats. Football cleats are very slippery. I was in a rush, all right? Okay, don't fucking judge me. But I was going down the stairs because um, the, 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 the restroom area has stairs, you know? I was going down the stairs, and my cleats being like, oh shit, my coach is going to be so mad at me, because he's already yelling at me, and I'm, I, I barely was even late, and now I've just spent like five minutes destroying this bathroom, so he's going to be pissed, so i got to get back as soon as possible. I did not come back that day. I slipped down those stairs. My booty bonked all ten of the stairs as I slid down. More came out. It was not good. It was not good. My tummy was hurting, boys. And I went back in, and I just thought. I sat on that toilet. I looked at my poopy-covered pants. And I just thought about life in this moment. And thought about the decisions I made that led me here. And it was not good. So I made the executive decision to not be covered in poopy when I come back. 
so I decided to clean up. And unfortunate timing is kind of funny until it happens to you. All right, boys? So I went to the sink and I was like, water cleans yourself. So I started getting scoops of water, cleaning my booty hole, pants just entirely on my ankles. I was cleaning my pants, but they were wet. So I was just like, all right, let's just throw them on the floor. Let them dry for a bit while I clean myself up. I was taking a little improv bath in this sink. And a 60 year old man just walks in, sees my little preteen boy penis, my, my, my shit covered legs, and me just washing myself in the shower, he just looks at me. We make eye contact, and he just shakes his head and leaves. Boys, you do not know how many nights I have lost of sleep over this. I've been actually fucking abused. I've watched people die, and this is what keeps me up at night, alright boys? Alright? It was fucked up! It was fucked up! I was... I didn't know what the fuck to do. What the fuck are you supposed to do in that situation, right? What the fuck? Like, I, I... You know? Like... I've come to accept what happened to me. But every time I think about this, it, it, it gets me very emotional. And... Uh, if I could go back in time... To either, like, kill baby Hitler and stop World War II or stop this, I would stop Hitler because obviously this is not a big deal. Only one person, well I guess now like multiple people are gonna see this. But I would hesitate on the decision because that's how embarrassing it is. And I just, I'm not too proud of that one. And now I'm just gonna share it with the whole internet because I think that's how normal people cope with their emotions. So, if you like laughing and pointing at me and being like, haha, that was so silly and funny, you're such a loser. Like, comment and subscribe. Um, I have a lot more stories about shit like this. And I guess I'm gonna tell you often, because why not? So, um, see you next time I have something embarrassing happen to me. Bye bye!